Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the 28th of September 2016. Okay, folks, um, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the uh, the actual um, app or gain more info at w.tradesignal.com, at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now today's... Um, Price action really is uh, is really a comic show. Uh, I think that's probably the best way of describing it. It really is uh, a right, um, shall we say, strange affair. Okay. Um, basically, this morning we had the Asian market certainly negative and down overnight. Okay. We uh, had the Nikkei down 1.3 percent. We had the Shanghai down 0.3 percent. Okay. A U.S. market certainly pushed high yesterday. But coming into resistance, okay. One of the most important charts to observe, from my perspective, based on intermarket analysis, is your HNS formation on the uh, Nasdaq. So keep an eye on your right shoulder for the Nasdaq at uh, around the uh, 48.66 zone, okay. Currently short the Nasdaq with a stop loss at 48.97. So if we do break it to new highs, obviously uh, off we go to the races. But I'm certainly looking for this right shoulder to hold, and for the market certainly start to uh, push lower. Now. We've certainly had uh, mixed news from OPEC as well. Uh, initially, it was there was a, a failure, no agreement, and then the markets reversed, and, and so on and so forth. So it's been nothing but drama. That's probably the best way of describing it all. Okay, so certainly drama unfolding and continuing. Now, we have uh, Miss Yellen and Mr. Draghi of uh, on tap. So again, markets are expected to be very volatile later on. Now, the drama or the uh, shall we say the, uh, the the comedy this morning has been from. Uh, from a, uh, the Deutsche Bank. Okay, so first of all, we had a uh, potential tweet stating that there is a, an agreement between um, the uh, the German government, obviously, uh, with regards to uh, a stake in Deutsche Bank and uh, certainly uh, agreeing to a potential bailout. And then that was denied, okay, which obviously has come through now. It has been denied uh, and certainly ne been negated altogether. Now, apparently, there was talk of a 25% stake Germany looking at contingency plans for Deutsche Bank, good news or bad news, etc, etc. Uh, certainly, overall, government still hopes Deutsche Bank won't need support. Only scenarios for rescues are being discussed so far. Zeit. Uh, so basically, Zeit, this Zeit article has been has been quoted. And now it's been negated because a German government, has, uh, a spokesperson has stated that uh, they've certainly negated it altogether. So... Again, it certainly isn't good news. German Finance Ministry denies Zeit report on Deutsche Bank. So again, Deutsche Bank has certainly been negated. So the argument for Deutsche Bank to go higher and uh, obviously the short squeeze in European markets uh, certainly has been negated altogether. OK, so other economic news flow really from the uh, Eurozone. Or we had uh, German consumer confidence that was slightly weaker than expected. OK, uh, in terms of uh, <clears throat> consumer confidence from Sweden, certainly stronger. Consumer confidence from Italy weaker, business confidence slightly stronger, wage inflation on in on par. Okay, and now we're looking forward to durable goods and Miss Yellen testifying, Mr. Bullard, and Mr. Draghi's speech and Mr. Evans later on. So interesting times. That's all I can say. Interesting times indeed. Okay, so again, all, the focus remains on this potential HNS formation for this right shoulder to hold. Okay, and uh, the news with regards to uh, uh, the situation uh, ongoing in. Um, in Germany and, and, and Deutsche Bank certainly has been negated thus far. Okay, so German DAX, let's see exactly where we stand. So we're bringing up the daily chart, the German DAX. At the moment, really, it's a um, daily chart. We're in no man's land. A 60 minute chart at the moment, we've pushed higher, we've negated. The unfilled gap above remains. We have an unfilled gap below that remains. So again, we're stuck between two worlds. Okay, so given the fact that this uh, German government has, uh, finance minister has negated the uh, the actual Zeit report of a potential stake in, in Deutsche Bank and a potential bailout, which again really it contradicts Merkel's statement of no bailout. So, and given the fact that the polit political ramifications of that as well, obviously uh, the uh, uh, in terms of the electorate, in terms of votes, etc., it certainly doesn't make sense at all. I mean, if anything, it would be committing political suicide for. Uh, for Miss Merkel, if you were to agree to another bailout, so especially given the fact that Germans are quite vehemently and uh, are opposed to any type of uh, intervention, especially with regards to Mr. Draghi's QE. Okay, so again, it certainly is uh, is contradictory to uh, Miss Merkel's uh, policy. Okay, 
So German DAX again languishing, looking for this potential gap fill to close, given the fact that uh, the market's only rallied on the fact that uh, we are going to get this potential uh, bailout. And from my perspective, no bailout is in sight. And uh, that's been confirmed now with the finance ministry denying the report from Zeit. So that's certainly interesting. OK, looking at the French CAC here, folks. OK, so the French CAC looking at the daily chart, first of all, really in no man's land, symmetrical wage type formation. 60 minute chart, we've pushed higher, slammed into 200 MA and then the market obviously has reversed. OK, so that's interesting. OK, certainly interesting to say the least. So the 60 minute chart is showing you a gap above and a gap below. So again, we're stuck between two worlds. OK. It's going to be interesting to see what happens now. Initially, we did get a bump higher on the weaker euro, okay? But the euro really isn't moving with a good risk now. It's moving more towards the uh, situation with regards to Deutsche Bank, if anything. Again, you have the unfilled gap below on the French CAC, so again, remains vulnerable to the downside, especially with this uh, denial now of, a, uh, of the uh, German government uh, spokesperson. 60-minute chart, the FTSE, obviously, you're holding resistance here. Uh, key resistance was held at 6876, 78. And therefore looking for a move lower now on the FTSE potential retests of this 6770. Although you have had Mr. Shafiq uh, come out very, very, very uh, dovish. Uh, again, um, even though it hasn't it's failed to send the sterling low below 1.3. But certainly dovish, okay, in his rhetoric uh, with regards to potential more QE down the line, okay. Not only that, we also have um, a situation with regards to oil. Apparently the latest report now from Shana is that there is some sort of supply management deal, okay? So Iran working with OPEC on a supply management deal, so not sure what that, how, how he's supposed to interpret that. Again, the uh, statement is due out, I think, at uh, 3 o'clock, and again, all eyes on that potential statement and uh, the next reaction there. But for now, certainly into resistance. Uh, again, the uh, news from oil certainly factored in here at 6880, 6870, and looking for a potential flush on the uh, FTSE 100 now. OK, in terms of the uh, small time frame, 10 minute chart, let's just have a look what's happening here. Potential double top looking or expected to hold. OK, you have an unfilled gap below that certainly needs to close as well. The IHS formation really is more or less complete. OK, so again, looking to retest these lows. OK, so support is seen at 6810. It'll be interesting to see how the market reacts from here, especially with regards to oil in this. Uh, and we also have the uh, oil report out today as well. So that's, a, that's going to be interesting, obviously, the OPEC meeting uh, conclusion as well. OK, so FTSE 100, certainly uh, vulnerable uh, below, uh, 6880 and below. OK, and uh, the support is seen at 6840. And if you continue to flush lower, then you are looking at 6810, if that H&S formation the NASDAQ plays out. OK, now in terms of the Euro stocks, so let's just quickly go to Euro stocks now. OK, Euro stocks at the moment, really, it's um, my bias is for the gaps to close below. The daily chart at the moment has pushed higher, okay, but we do have an unfilled gap at 2935 and uh, 2935 and we have a gap at 2912. So again, keep an eye on those two gaps below given the uh, Deutsche Bank situation. Uh, you have the uh, potential gap below here and here, so you have a gap at uh, 2970. So you're looking to target that gap at 2970, folks, looking for a potential move lower. 10 minute chart at the moment, again, it's really. Uh, it's bounced off that pivot low at 2986. Again, my eye, my eyes firmly on 2970 gap being closed, especially given the fact that we've rejected the uh, Zeit report. OK. OK, on that note, I think that's a wrap. Let's just quickly look at oil. Oil certainly has bounced on this news with regards to supply management from Iran. So again, it certainly is back and forth and there's no real uh, conclusion, which either way, a lot of noise really. Initially, the Russians have left. I'm just wondering how if anything can be agreed, if the Russians have left. So again, I don't think anything will be uh, will come out of this uh, potential OPEC meeting going into three o'clock, but we'll see exactly what happens thereafter. Okay, for now, that's uh, that's a wrap, folks. Uh, oil prices, if we do push high, you are looking at uh, 46, 45 being resistance, okay, in terms of oil, uh, and we shall see how the market unfolds. So again, the German finance ministry states not working on any potential German bank deal or rescue. So again, it has been denied. So that denial certainly will look to uh, obviously exert pressure on the European indices. On that note, keep an eye on uh, the H&S formation on the NASDAQ and wish you all a prosperous trading day. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Goodbye now.